Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 35. Um, and also the Brighton versus Cardiff game, which is a catch up game. Uh, you know, should have been played I think February, but to Brighton one in the FA Cup, they're playing literally just hours away. Literally about 7 hours and 49 minutes away, something like that. Um, a few shocks I want to go over first in the this week just gone. Um, Bournemouth beating Brighton five 0 Um, you know, Bournemouth turned up. Brighton really didn't. After watching the highlights, um, you know, it's going to be one of them games. I think where one team did turn up and the other team did. Uh, Arsenal beating Watford. Very unlucky. Watford. Um. You know, I think Watford deserved the three points, but then also Troy Dealey got sent off. Didn't really help his team. And if you're asking me, I do believe it is a red card. Um, but guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first goal I'll kick off with is Brighton versus Cardiff. And I know you can already tell up, already tell up behind me. Um, you know, both teams in the relegation dogfight. Uh, I believe whoever wins this game will stay up, even though if Cardiff win, they're still two points off the draw uh, of safety. But then, um, you know, you, you, you've got Fulham and you've got Palace coming up, two very important games. Um, as well as Brighton win, they'll be eight points clear. And realistically, Cardiff needs to beat either Liverpool and United to Palace and uh, Fulham too. I can't see them doing that. Um, both teams are very low in confidence anyway. So with that one, I'm going to predict a nil-nil scoreline for that one. The next one is Tottenham versus Man City or Man City versus Tottenham. Two trips to the Etihad for Tottenham in a very uh, short basis. A short space of time, um, you know, they start beat around the bush. Tottenham did beat uh, Man City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but then let's not also beat around the bush that Man City ain't playing that great at the minute. I know, I think I know who's got Warcraft the title uh, now. If you want to see that, put it down close below, and I'll do another video about Man City and Liverpool. Um, you know, Tottenham ain't no, ain't got no Harry Kane. Looks like to be ruled out for the rest of the season. But I think because of the confidence that Tottenham have got, I'm going to go for a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Bournemouth versus Fulham. Um, I've already mentioned Bournemouth winning 5 now against Brighton. So they're going to go into this game very high confidence. Um, you know, Fulham already relegated, got f confirmed a couple of weeks back. So, I'm expecting Bournemouth to win this one again, if I'm all honest. Um, I'm going to go with a 2 0 scoreline for that one. The next one is relegate relegated Huddersfield against Watford. Uh, I've already said in this video that Watford were very unlucky to. Not beat Arsenal. Um, Huddersfield lost 4 0 to Tottenham. Um, you know, with Watford, I think they're going to take a lot of confidence into that game. It'd be interesting to see if Troy Dini gets his red card reversed. Personally, I don't think he will, but we have to see and wait and, you know, let's see what goes on there. Um, yeah. You know, it's one of them things where if he threw his arm in the way, that's how I see it. But as far as the scoreline goes, I'm going to predict a Watford win. And I'm going to predict a 3-0 Watford win. The next one is West Ham versus Leicester. Um, you know, West Ham are doing okay, same as Leicester. But... What we're going to see in this game, 
Um, you know, they got the likes of Philippe Anderson, Andy Cole's out for the rest of the season as well. Um, you got, uh, you know, they got a few good players that could possibly be missing, uh, as well as Leicester on the other hand. Um, you know, I think they're fully fit, well, fit as they can be anyway. Um, so I'm going to predict a draw for this one, and I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Wolves versus Brighton. Um, you know, high flying Wolves done very well this season overall. Look on the outskirts of Europe, but I don't think they will do it. I think it'll be very close to it. Uh, but I don't think they I think I just miss out this season. But who knows, maybe next season. Um Going up against a very low bright, uh, Brighton side. Now, obviously, as I said, this Cardiff game is literally hours away. Um, so this is predicting like two games in hand, but it's the same for Cardiff as well. But I'm going to go for a Wolves win for this one, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Wolves win. I'm expecting a Rooters Neves goal in there as well. Uh, the next one is Newcastle versus Southampton. Um, you know, both teams look safe now. Uh, where will this one go? It will be very interesting. Uh, as well as, you know, Newcastle still in there. Uh, Mike Ashley out. Uh, will Rafa Benitez keep his job beyond the end of the season? You know, there's a few st stuff floating up at Newcastle. Who's job safe? Who's going? Who's this? Who's that? How much money I've got in the transfer budget coming up for the summer w uh, transfer window? Um, so, with this one, I'm going to predict a Southampton win, actually. And I'm going to predict a 2 0 Southampton win. And the Southampton's manager's doing a great job up there. Uh, uh, sorry, of course. At Southampton, uh, you know, I think their next season will be very bright indeed. Uh, the next one is Everton versus Manchester United. Uh, now, let's not forget that with this fixture between the two clubs, obviously, because of the rivalry that Man United got with Liverpool, this is always a tasty fixture, always nice to watch as well if I can. Um you know, with Man United, um Michael King going up against his old uh, club. Uh you know, he, he played for United. Uh I can't remember where, where he went, I don't think he went straight to Everton. Um but Onagar Solskjaer returning to Goodison Park as well. You know, he's got a few good memories there. Um but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a Man United win. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Man United win. The next one is a, is a London derby again for Arsenal. It's Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. Um, you know, as I've said, I think all teams are safe now, just set from Brighton and Cardiff. I think the two, I think the dog fight between, between them two, that could have went tonight. We have to wait and see. Um, you know, you got you got Arsenal, who's just beaten Watford, very uh, lucky Arsenal. And then you got Palace that do okay and then they don't. And, you know, so I'm predicting, what do I go for? Uh, I'll go for an Arsenal win on this one, purely because they're at home. I'll go for a 3-0 Arsenal win. The next one is Cardiff versus Liverpool. Now, if Cardiff don't beat Brighton tonight, or don't even get a point, this is a game Cardiff is going to have to win. Otherwise, they're looking at three wins on the bounce. Um, and one of them three wins on the bounce, if they've got to do it, is Manchester United. I can't see them beating either United or Liverpool. So you can sort of tell which one I'm going to call this game already, but I'm just explaining it from a Cardiff point of view. 
Um, as well as Liverpool do have to win this game as well to keep the pressure on Manchester City. Uh, no matter which way that Tottenham uh, City game goes, top, uh, Man City still have a game in hand as well. So that could be crucial going into the title race. Um, but as well as the result goes, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 3 0 Liverpool win. The last one of this weekend, and it's my last prediction, is Chelsea versus Burnley. Um, you know, Burnley lucky to get a Cardiff win. Cardiff were very unlucky not to get the uh, three penalties that they should have deserved, or at least two, because, uh, you know, one of the penalties was so quick one after the other. Um, but as far as Chelsea, on the other hand, if you did watch my uh, my top four prediction, who I believe would get third or fourth spot, you could tell Chelsea got a bit of a tough running as well. So, with this one, I'm going to predict a Chelsea win, and I'm going to predict a 2-1 Chelsea win. I'm expecting, I'm expecting Ashley, Ashley Barnes to score for Burnley. Chelsea, on the other hand, I'm expecting possibly a Hazard goal and possibly a David Luiz goal. Um, but guys, this is the end of my video. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.